I think you might want to get your uh, oh, your are we ready? going for a. Why don't they just? <laughs> did it not work that time? Damn it! No, it worked. Oh. It did work that time. It didn't work for you a couple uh, weeks ago. So this one comes from Timo Berlin. Team Timo Beer. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Berlin. Um, <laughs> he says, "Why don't they just integrate gravity batteries in the towers of wind turbines?" Uh, that costs no additional land. The electric motor and dynamo is already built into the turbine, and excess wind energy can be directly converted to gravitational energy, and no need to convert to electricity and back. Um, mm. I th- I find this to be an interesting concept. I've thought I've thought about this myself. Um, hmm. Do you have a thought on that right off the bat, Ben? So let's just define what a gravity battery is quickly for people. So a gravity battery okay. is where you lift something up in the air or you push something, say, up a hill. Uh, and then when you need, th- and you do that with a renewable energy source. And then when you, that's like a form of storage. And then when you need that right. energy back, you let that thing fall or come back down um, to the ground, which will then spin a turbine and generate um, electricity. So right. yeah, we have a graphic here. So Gravity yeah, so this battery. is a company called Gravitricity. So go ahead, sorry. Gravitricity, yeah. So there, there's a lot of companies that try to do this. Oh, this is an interesting one. I haven't seen this. So they're trying to dig giant holes in the ground. Yeah. That seems, and there's other ones where they have these like block things. I forget what they're called, where they like stack these blocks. I've got it pulled up here. That's the energy vault. The energy vault, yeah. And then I've also saw one that was kind of neat. It was a uh, a train where they basically pushed big giant concrete blocks or some kind of heavy material up up a train up a hill and then when they needed to mm. they would just they would just let the let the train come back down yeah um so obviously you need a hill for that is the only thing yeah well and also i mean not kind of in like hydropower is kind of gravity power as well right because it's essentially mm-hmm. water stored up or you know behind a dam or something and then it comes yeah. down and the act the force that it you know moves the turbine essentially so uh yeah i like the idea i i, I would say uh it, it, he's he the why don't they just was inside of a wind turbine because th- that, that may seems have been like, what he was insinuating yeah that seems like it might not be i mean i don't know what's inside a wind turbine maybe i'll ask my friend dan from the channel what's inside <laughs> but that seems like it might it might work, but you might be able to get better efficiency by not doing it inside the wind turbine itself. I think it's a good idea worth exploring. Uh, but yeah. one of the challenges that immediately comes to mind is that a lot of wind energy is offshore. Um, and so it's they're, they're, it's far away, you know, like you can't even mm. see them from the shoreline <laughs> in, in a lot of, a lot of cases. Uh, and, and a lot of that's because you need to make them wind turbines ginormous in order to actually generate enough energy for it to be cost yeah. effective. Uh, the guys over fully charged have done quite a few videos on this. They're they're excellent. So, yeah, I, I like the idea. I'm I'm guess I'm my my thought is I'm not sure about doing it inside. And then how does this work when it's out? You know, a uh, hundred kilometers out to sea. Um, yeah, is that. Yeah. It, would it be better off just having the gravity part of it on land or whatever? So, uh, you, you make a good point. I don't know what is on the what's on the inside of wind turbine uh, shafts, for lack of a better word, whatever it is that, that goes up to the top. Uh, if it's hollow, I mean, I guess you could have a big, a big, huge weight on the inside, and maybe you could even go down into the ground and get even more, you know, weight out of it. But I'm not sure how much that one weight would get. Um, you know, in terms of like the, the storage of that energy. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, this, this, this idea of this energy vault thing, I've, I've thought about this before, like, why couldn't you just incorporate this into a wind turbine? I mean, in this video that we're looking at here that it's, it's like in, a in the middle of, of a wind field. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I find it an yeah, interesting idea. I think it's a fair idea to explore. Probably it like, just, just to me, the 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 crux of it would be: is it cheaper to do that than to do it elsewhere? And if you can do it elsewhere, mm-hmm. then that would be make more sense. Like for example, the diagram you're showing here from Energy Vault or the video, you can see the scale of this thing as compared to these other ones. Um, 
so yeah, I mean, it probably makes more sense to have a gravity battery that is just a gravity battery. Like it could be a better thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, but if there's a way to incorporate it to where it is able, um, to do, to do it efficiently in a wind turbine, I I think it's worth exploring. I think all the things are worth checking out. As far as I know, none of these have been built. This is just like an idea, but, um, but it's, it is a company and they got a website so you guys can go check it out. Well, I, I mean, guess they got sort of a prototype going there. You Click know. here to see the commercial demonstration unit. That's all it took for GM to, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> sign on with Nikola. <laughs> Even less so. So, oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, all these things are worth exploring. I really love the idea of gravity batteries and, and, and they already exist in the form of, of water. So mm-hmm. it's not really... Uh, you know, a thing. I think it's just a matter of uh, figuring all these things out in terms of the cost. Like in the yeah. end, that's what it that's what it comes down to. Because if it's cheaper to fire up a, a natural gas peaker plant, then that's what energy energy uh, operators are going to do. Grid operators are going to do right. Yeah. That's why. That's why I my favorite idea of all is the virtual power plant idea, which is what Tesla is already doing with Powerwall uh, owners in certain, like imagine if the thousands of people in the state of California um, could network all of their Powerwalls together to create their own, their own grid. And so when when the grid shuts down because of fire damages or they're afraid or whatever, uh, you know, we could still have power. Like I, I totally, like that to me is a more scalable solution. And the beauty of that is that the customer, like me, the homeowner, buys the thing so tesla and them don't even have to pay for the infrastructure um it's pretty fascinating i think that's the best solution overall but yeah like we said earlier we have to do all the things there is no way to Mm -hmm. uh to not do the things so yeah there you have it it's not it's not an either or thing it's yes it's an and. That's what always gets me is whenever I do a video about any particular, you know, sustainable energy or, uh, you know, green technology or whatever, people always, well, what about this? And I'm like, yes. Yeah, let's do that too. That too. Yes, all of it. <laughs> I, I really love I really love the idea of tidal energy, but again, it falls under that category of not economically viable, at least last time I looked at it. And- because that's something that's like even more consistent and predictable is the tide going in and out of the ocean. And we have, you know, lots of coastline <laughs> around the world. Um, and if we could find a way, like you could, in theory, have essentially like a turbine that is engineered. So as the tide comes or even just waves come by, uh, you know, wave energy that like you surf that that like when you surf a wave or you see someone surfing a wave, that wave most likely originated, you know, hundreds or thousands mm-hmm. of miles away, um, usually from wind. That's why in the winter on the Pacific coast, anyways, in Cal- or California, Oregon, whatever, the waves are bigger in the winter because there's more storms out in the Pacific Ocean that are generating um, the wind energy is creating wave energy. And so there's probably, I mean, I, I love that idea of like the ocean is a constant energy source that thing is always mm-hmm. moving and like imagine like the uh, the pacific coast current and all, or the whatever they call it like the big current that brings heat and spreads heat around the world like if you yeah, could yeah. leverage the things and those things are running 24 7 huge amounts of energy right there that you could leverage i mean i think there's lots of options i i, I love the idea of just more passive systems the gravity one seems like there could be a lot of problems that that, that occur uh <laughs> But um, yeah, but that, I mean, that tower that I that that uh, I was showing a second ago, my whole thing was like, well, if if it's in a windy area, <laughs> yeah, and you've got these blocks on that cables that could be you know of hundreds, pounds. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eh, well, I, that's like why the the whole train one seemed like a although you need a hill, so yeah, you mm. know, Texas is not going to work, right? But but other places, <laughs> um, yeah, where you where you have any kind, I mean, I guess you could make a hill, you could like just have a like imagine that same concept, but instead of this giant tower where these, you know, several ton blocks can fall, just like a pyramid. Yeah. And um, that's why they created the pyramids. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like no, a pyramid kind of, kind of a shape, and they the solar energy or whatever pushes the concrete things up to the top, 
And then when they need that at night, they just, you know, slowly start to come down and turn a turbine system. So yeah. I think there's lots of ways there. I think it'll be cool. I think still, you know, siding with Bill Gates on this argument, we need like nuclear options. Like we need all like like that's not not nearly enough. I don't think is, is just my first blush yeah. there. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, thank you for that one, uh, Timo. I thought it was an interesting question. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.